Welcome to my channel where I provide some of the most beautiful jewel collections in the world. On today's video we are going to indulge ourselves with a beautiful jewel collection from the house of Van Cleef and Arbel. Once upon a time, love brought the Maison into being. Van Cleef and Arpels interprets the time as an invitation to imagine, wonder and revel. Jewelry is the work of true artists, it involves individually sculpting and refining the adjustments to house the stones perfectly. The shaping of the invisible parts is essential to ensure that the visible parts are as beautiful and radiant as possible. This is the sign of the greatest jewelers. This is House of the Mason Van Cleef and Arbel. Established in 1906 in Paris, France. From that time on they have given us some of the most beautiful, magnificent, and iconic jewelry worn by movie stars, kings and queens, and nobles. So, let's see some of this iconic collection. Tenth on the list is this beautiful and magnificent Carousel des Demoiselles. A product of such astonishing beauty crafted in the house of Van Cleef and Arpels. This bracelet took 1,500 hours to complete, to produce such product. Like the circles of frogs surrounds the animal who will transform into a princess, the Carousel des Demoiselles bracelet forms a joyous circles. A bracelet saturated with white diamond, sapphire, and emerald set on a gold frame a stunning and beautiful bracelet a woman could ever wear. Ninth on the list is the beautiful Suze Laloon necklace, made for women with power and elegance. A vibrant combination of colored gems to produce such jewelry, such craft that captivates providence. The detachable pendant features a 29 carat Colombian emerald cabocan surrounded by emeralds, sapphire, and a fancy cut diamonds. The necklace is comprised of 464 Burmese sapphire beads set in five rows, weighing a total of 647 carats, alongside additional diamonds, sapphires and emerald. The Suze La Lune or Under the Moon, necklace with detachable clips was inspired by the town musician of Bremen. Eighth on the list is the Emerald Collection. Emeralds were the king of gems. Aristocracy. The royal families and throughout time they have chosen emeralds to represent themselves. A good example of that is this beautiful Pierre's de Caratier by Averde necklace with 33.29 carats shaped Zambian emeralds and diamonds set on platinum. The intricacies of the gems having almost the same color and carats placed together in a single jewelry is mesmerizing and rare. Another example of fine emerald jewelry is this beautiful 1929 Art Deco inspired emerald and diamond necklace, previously owned by Princess Faisa of Egypt. Seventh on the list is the Romeo and Juliet jewel collection. A tribute to the lovers from William Shakespeare's play. The duo of Romeo and Juliet clips is one of the most figurative pieces in the collection. Thanks to remarkable three-dimensional craftsmanship, the two figures seem to come to life in this romantic scene. The two clips are made of white gold, rose gold, yellow gold, black lacquer, rubies, colored sapphires, spessartite garnets, lapis lazuli, white and yellow diamonds, making it beautiful and stunning. Another piece in the collection is this elegant necklace with detachable pendants set in white gold, two pair shaped DFL type 2A diamonds of 6.60 carats and 6.31 carats diamonds. Echoing the roughs of the Renaissance, this glittering necklace brings together two of the Maison's cherished themes, couture and the white jewelry tradition. The Lover's Path bracelet symbolizes the hopeful attitude of Romeo and Juliet, who are prepared to overcome every obstacle for the sake of their love. The piece showcases three Colombian emeralds, notable for their deep green tinged with blue, set in a graphic interplay of lines. 
The transformable long necklace, Gyuch, is composed of white gold, rose gold, one carved Colombian emerald of 81.07 carats, Burmese sapphire beads for about 451 carats, and diamonds. And stunning necklace that gives life to its wearer. This torque bracelet is lit up by two exceptional pear-shaped aquamarines, weighing over 100 carats in total. Perfectly matched, their crystalline blue is an ode to the fountains of Verona, where the plot of Romeo and Juliet unfolds. Number 6 is the Egyptian Jewelry Collection. Egyptian Creations, circa 1924, Van Cleef and Arpel's collection jewelry inspired by the art of ancient Egypt, it was the height of fashion in the 1920s, which is why Van Cleef and Arpels created numerous Egyptian-inspired jewels between 1922 and 1925. They reflect the extraordinary interest in the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb by Lord Carnivoran in 1922. These exceptional jewels are decorated with scenes of offerings and hieroglyphics motifs depicting scarabs, sphinxes, amphor, bulls, ostrich, feathers, lotus flowers and bees. They are set with precious buff-topped emeralds, sapphires, rubies, diamonds, and calibrated onyx stones. These unique Egyptian-inspired creations are highly sought after by connoisseur and collectors. Femininity, nature and grace have always provided constant inspiration for the exquisite creations of Van Cleef and Arbels and some of the most enduring and charming examples of this inspiration are the fairy and ballerina clips, which were invented at the beginning of the 1940s in New York. A collaboration between Maurice Duvaler, a French-born designer based in New York, Van Cleef and Arpels and John Rubel, their manufacturer, resulted in the production of these extremely rare miniature gem set figures, probably as a result of Louis Arpels' passion for the opera and ballet. Emerging from the Great Depression, they responded enthusiastically to these lovely creations as they saw them as a symbol of joy and hope for better days to come. Caught in graceful movement of various dance poses, their little faces were always represented by a rose-cut diamond, making the jewel come alive, while their costumes sparkled with mostly rose-cut diamonds accentuated by rubies and emeralds mounted in platinum. Inspired by these fabulous and fun jewels from New York. The ballerinas appeared in France in the mid-1940s and remained a key jewel until the end of the 1960s when their production ceased. Loved by the public, the French ballerinas had a distinct style, sculpted mainly in gold. The Parisian house used turquoise, ruby and sapphire and rarely ever diamonds. Fourth on the list is the Ocean Tiara. The Ocean Tiara was a wedding gift from Prince Albert II of Monaco to his bride, Charlene Whitstock, for their 2011 nuptials. It was made by Van Cleef and Arbels, an official supplier to the Principality. A necklace that can be worn as a tiara, it was designed especially for Charlene. In honor of her background as a swimmer that went from the coasts of South Africa to the coast of Monaco, the necklace is composed of circular elements that evoke the water and foam of the ocean through more than 1,200 gemstones and more than 70 carats total. Despite the fact that it was made for her, it has scarcely been seen in use since it was made. It has, however, been on display on several occasions and in different locations. Princess Charlene first wore it as a necklace to the Red Cross Ball in 2011, just after her wedding. She has also been seen in a pair of drop earrings which are clearly part of a set with the necklace tiara, containing a matching ocean circle at the bottom. This lace clip features a yellow golden platinum ribbon bow with gold lace trim adorned with diamond set flower heads. From the Renaissance to the 19th century, Paintings often depicted the kings and queens of France adorned with jewel textiles. Since its foundation, Van Cleef and Arpels has been inspired by these accessories and the uniquely French form of elegance they represent. Among these creations, knots have long formed part of the Van Cleef and Arpels tradition. They are the fundamental element of the world of couture and have always been used as ornamental motifs. 
Whether simple or elaborate, they gracefully play with effects of transparency and drape a women in splendor. Second on our list is the Passe Partout necklace. Patented in 1938, the Passe Partout is one of the first examples of the transformative pieces pioneered by Van Cleef and Arpels. Designed to adapt to its wearer's mood, it was the perfect accessory for modern women who wanted to be able to match their jewelry to different clothes and different situations. It was one of the Maison's best-known pieces throughout the late 30s and 40s. The passé partout is based on an ingenious technical innovation. Hidden by two flower clips, a system of metal rails enables a flexible yellow-gold snake chain to slide in and out, transforming the piece into a necklace, a choker, an opera-length necklace, a bracelet or a belt. The flowers can also be worn alone as clips and in some cases, can even be worn as ear clips. The piece evokes the aesthetics of its time. It was always accompanied by the floral designs of the Hawaii collection, as in this example from 1939 whose contrasting blue and yellow flowers are composed of rubies and different colored sapphires. And the first in our list is the Secret Collection, a vast array of jewelry that was inspired by nature. Beautiful, elegant, and captivating. I hope you have a wonderful moment watching some of the iconic jewelry collection from the house of Van Cleef and Arpels. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.